Everyone wants nice aliens. No one wants the aliens that will farm us as a food source. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. Welcome aboard, Captain. <laughs> Nothing quite like coming home and Terran one is on the on, on the on the jukebox. Bit of a banger. Laser cutter! Da da! Yay! Got a fucking laser cutter, baby. I need another chest. Put the things in the thing. I have a couple of, yeah, a couple leftover diamonds. Do you want a piece of me, boy? <laughs> mm. Mm. How do I make a first aid kit again? I don't remember making any of those. Ooh, I got the sea truck perimeter upgrade defense thingamajig. Um... What is the purpose of this device? It plays music so that I have something to listen to. What is music? I can detect certain patterns within it. Is it mathematical? It is. Instrument of science. Does it help with your research? It does. Just not in the way you're probably thinking. Music and math are strongly related. Rhythm is math. Harmonies can be math. But music as a whole is more than that. We experience it on an emotional level. I sense it has an impact on your pulse and breathing. It makes you move differently. Humans are controlled by the music. We make music, and we're moved by it. Not everything is about control, Alan. Maybe you should explain the basics to him first, rather than, like, answer his question directly. Because he clearly was lacking some baseline. Ah, it's okay. Yeah, don't get any fucking ideas, Alan. Donation accepted. Yo! I've waited for you to play Below Zero for months. Seen your Subnautica 1 YouTube videos several times. I'm Dude. having a blast watching you play. Thank you. Thank you, Blastoid, for the 3 euro. And thank you for watching the videos. That's awesome, sir. Thank you. What is my favorite watch? There's a bunch that I really like, man. Today it's all about favorites. Yeah, today is a day of Q&A, apparently. Oh, this is- oh, that's how we make it. Okay, very easy. <sighs> what is my favorite car? I don't have a favorite car. I don't really care much about cars, man. I feel like I'm like one of the few people that doesn't give a crap about cars. Well, not not a not a crap, but Loco, which one is your favorite girlfriend? Ooh, hard to say, man. Oh well, <laughs> um, nobody knows. Nobody knows this. Act cool. Act cool. Come here, peeper! Just let me kill you already. Jeez, man, sometimes I'm getting the idea that these fish don't really want to die. But why would they not? They can continue their life inside of my stomach. And isn't that, isn't that something that everyone would want?
All right. Mm. Mm. Loco, if I was a fish, I would die for that. Thanks, man. I'll take that as a compliment. Dog or cat? I like both. <sighs> I have a cat though, so I guess I'm supposed to answer that question with cat. Cat superior, cat best. Where is my pet? My pet is downstairs probably. He's a living creature. So like, he does whatever he pleases. <laughs> Yeah, a, a, a while ago I would have said, before we got Milo, I probably would have said that I prefer dogs, but I gotta say, cats are pretty awesome too. It's true, man. Okay, guys, it's finally time for us to go in the direction of the wreck. Where is it? No, it's not the Delta one. Um... It's time to go in the direction of the pilot. Yes, the pilot's last known position. But first off, I'm gonna grab something to eat. Plus, I wanted to wait until it's daytime, so I think we're good. <sighs> How are you doing? I've returned. With carrots. Oh. I like accepted. chocolate. Guys, help me. What's going on, Lenny? Wait, no, Lenny! You're fine, dude. Don't worry about it. Dude, I'm being super emotional and sentimental today. It's a weird day. Ooh. Anything you want to talk about or, uh... Oh. I think this is a fake bounty. You guys know bounty? Is that a thing you have in other countries as well? With like the coconut on the inside of the chocolate? Like an off-brand one. Mm. You're just really grateful for a lot of people and it's hitting me how fortunate I am. Ah. Yo, that's awesome, Rushy. That's good, dude. Happy for you. We're gonna go to a, a place that's less fortunate, okay? This is the last known position of the pilot. This time around, I'm armed with my laser cutter and my propulsion cannon, so I think we're ready to uh, do this job. I don't need the mineral detector, that thing sucks. What happened in the story until now? Um, two main storylines, it seems. First off, there's an AI that lives in our head and we're trying to make a body for it. Secondly, we're looking for our sister who apparently died on this planet and we don't really know exactly what happened or what went down. And as far as that story goes right now, there's a lady, another woman, that lives on this planet, apparently, that we came across. And before... Yeah, she wants to tell us more about what she knows. She asks us to sabotage the Altera Tower, which is like a big tower that is on the land. So that's essentially the story so far. Dude, I think it's super important, actually, to um, realize 
or 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 describe gratitude. Yeah, one hundred percent. I've been doing this thing for years. I don't write in it every day, but I've been trying to like write down like two or three things a day of things I'm grateful for every morning. I've been doing that for a long time, and um, I do think it's it's very helpful. Start the day off right. Can highly recommend. So the ship we are looking for, by the way, is 240 meters down. It's quite far. It's not, it's not super far, but... Yeah, it's pretty easy, man. There's like a bunch of like, um... Guided journals that you can use. I quite like uh, what is called the five minute journal. It's literally like a page and it's just got like a couple of pre-filled in things already. Very straightforward. I do think that's a good, uh, a good... Good habit to be in. Found it! You're gra grateful for basic things like your wife, the place you live, your coffee machine? Yeah, that's totally fine. I think that's 100% fine. All right, I need to find out how I get inside of this machine again. I think it's over here, boys. We found it, man. Everything is going way too smoothly so far. All right, so I've been here before. This chest, I could not open because I needed a laser cutter. Oh, baby. Look at me now. A reactor rod. Isn't that what a Void Ray says when it comes out of the Stargate? A reactor rod. Something like that, anyway. I don't know what it says specifically, but... A reactor rod. Yeah, something like that. This door, I also could not open without a laser cutter. There it is. Hmm. Alien containment? Despite huge Altera-led advancements in stellar technology, exploring new worlds still has its challenges. Alright. I can grow my own fish. My instincts are never wrong. Stephanos has always been overly cautious. He hates taking risks, which I suppose is understandable when you're in the back end of the galaxy. But no risk, no reward. Elliot finds evidence of alien architecture on a completely uncharted planet, and he expects me to ignore that? <laughs> Orion's belt, I would be an absolute fool. We've done some scans, and while there aren't a lot of mineral resources on this planet, there is decent biodiversity. Teams go out in the morning. It should be a significant specimen and sample hall for biopatenting, which will be split among the crew as part of the discovery clause. Let's see, Stephanos and everyone else complain when they have a few more sold transgov credits in their uniform pockets. They'll learn to trust my instincts at some point. Okay, I need to get some oxygen. All right. I'm holding a small void ray in my hand. Oh no. We 
We didn't even take the stairs, we just floated. I don't want to flex, but... Oh shit, there's an oxygen plant right over here. Nice. There's a, a room I can cut open. Right. Guess we do that. No, I think it can be whatever uh, I'm the program. I have a little void ray on my hand. Yeah, you're right. Bzz, 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 motherfucker. Ooh, rotten Chinese potatoes. I think I can probably grow these plants. No, no, we're not gonna eat it. Another PDA. Oh man, oh man, oh man. This is everything a link was dreaming. <sighs> I mean, I was helping with the planetary scans, and there are possible unknown structures on the surface. This could set my career up for life. The images are a little degraded coming through the atmosphere, but it looks like. Intentional and complex architecture, which means oh my civilization, God. and civilization means da -da -da -da, language. Oh man! And now most of the crew wants to get home. I, I understand that, but this could be a defining discovery. I'm definitely going to put a bug in Diana's ear about going to the surface so I can take a team to explore. I desperately hope this pans out. Oh, I can't wait till we get into communication range with Soul again. Layla and the kids would love to hear this. I mean, it's rough being away from them so long, but this might just make it worth it. I'll be able to give them so much more. Um, I really need to get oxygen again, though. I found something just now. I don't know what it was. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Yeah. Uh, we should probably pop back in the ship for a sec. This place is pretty big, dude. Yeah, no, it makes sense. I'm the program. You can definitely get into like a bit of a, a rough mental state sometimes, right? I think everyone has that. No. How do I just, like, not drop out of the ship, but just... I don't want to go in. I want to just go back. I want to go to the storage. Sometimes it's a bit strange. I hit E on the keyboard. Wait, if I level it out? It's a bug? Oh, okay. If you have it pointing straight down, it doesn't work. Oh, I see. Oh, gotcha. Okay. It seems like a bug because there's no animation. Hmm. Okay. So we go through here. I should really have the flashlight, hey? Eh? Copper wire. Reactor rod. Oh, okay, there was nothing else here. Okay. Okay, cool. So that's this area of this area <laughs> dealt with. Then there's another one over here that I also have to open. Another door. Not my knee! No! Ow!
Seems kind of rough, man. Oh, shit, dude. How many times do I have to use this cutter? A lot. Mm -mm. Oh wait, this is something I could have already accessed. Did not realize that. I don't even know what these items are. Used to power nuclear reactors. So I guess that's how we power our bases? Didn't I literally go by here? And didn't I try to scan this? Maybe I even did scan this thing. I just, just it's kind of hard to see, I guess, that you could go inside on this side as well. No, I'm not blind, bro. You definitely wouldn't have seen that either. <laughs> Rude, dude. What's this then? O'Brien's belt this all went sideways. How could I have known that so much would go wrong? I failed my crew. No. I don't fail. I didn't get into this position by being a failure. It's this desolate land. Frigid. Cursed. Between these tunneling creatures, and the strange sickness that a few of the crew are showing symptoms of, we have to leave at first light tomorrow. Mm. We are looking for a rapid takeoff. We can't take chances with the vibrations drawing the tunnelers, so we're skipping the systems check. Risky, but I have faith in myself and the crew of the Mercury. Landing this thing was practically a miracle, though. But we have to get out of here. Maybe the weapon is to keep people away. Let us go. I have to leave the quarantined crew in the cave behind. We will be back for them. But we can't risk an unknown infection spreading through the mercury. An unknown we'll infection? For them, but Quarantining? For about two weeks. Hello? I'm telling them that we will come back. I, I found a new jukebook disc. Safely. Nice. Twice. They caught the Rona on this alien planet. I can't risk the entirety of the Mercury. So wait, did they quarantine my sister then as well? They probably did, eh? I never know if I've explored everything though. This place looks huge. Kinda hard to say if I've explored everywhere. I'm still finding new things. Okay, another one of those parallel processing units. I don't even know what it is. Mm -mm. Component used in various test devices. Okay. No, it is, it's one really big ship. Test override module, and I can disable that satellite tower. Yeah, so they are like the two quests. I guess are 
blend it together. So, you do need to do one and the other, I guess, right around the same time, but... Okay, let's pick up some oxygen again. I'm trying to remember where I'm coming from, man. It's a bit of a maze. Alright, I'm almost out of carrots, guys. It's gonna be a sad moment. I only have two little baby carrots remaining. Actually, I don't really feel like eating them, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, I've got three out of three for the processing units. That's the main thing you need on this place. Getting two out of three for the processing unit. Okay. Good then that we got it. So this is why I thought I needed the... Um, the propulsion cannon thing, but... Oh, hey. Cut open to access. Happen to know how far I am? I have no clue how far I am into the story at this point, dude. I've been playing for a fair amount of time so far, but I'm not going through it very quickly. I think I've probably got about 10 hours or so at this point. Maybe a little bit less. Maybe 9? I don't know. I'm just taking my time. But I'm not really rushing anything. So I, uh... I don't know exactly how far along I am. So I can now make the... Dude, here's the prawn suit upgrade. I already unlocked the freaking prawn suit at this point. Seems like I've got it pretty quickly. Anyways, um, I can now make... What is it again? We needed to make a thing to... I don't know where we even build it. Sorry, I don't know what it's called. I needed like an overwrite. For that big tower that we see on land. Test override module? Yeah, maybe that's what it's called. Did you see it somewhere? Um, it was at the top. Oh, there it is. Diagnostic module for the Delta Station Communications Tower. Right, that's what I need. Then I need a parallel processing unit, okay. Titanium, lead, and copper wire. Alright, so this is a pretty straightforward recipe. Very nice. Hey Loco, after two years of military service, I can return to StraCraft 2 and video games. Dude, welcome back, Fifees. Hope all is well, my man. Thank you for the resub. And congrats that you have some more time to play games now. I don't know how the military works. Are you like, do you get time off or something? I guess so. Oh, real quick. Um... Two years. Like, is it like a mandatory military service? Can I make a beacon? I need copper and titanium. I don't have copper and titanium. Never mind. Ah, that's fine. We can find this again if we need to. Either way, thank you for the 62 months, uh, Fifees. You missed some good games in the last two years, for sure. There's been uh, some bangers. This seems to be one of them. Wait, I already have a copper wire? Oh yeah, I do. Don't know why. Hello? 
Ooh, to you too, dude. No, don't fight me. Oh yeah, I picked up the the wire on uh, on the ship. You're right. Oh, you were voluntarily in the German armed for uh, forces. There was no Wi-Fi in my barracks, and I had no time on the weekends. Damn, dude. So you've you've almost been like off the grid for well, quite a significant portion of time. Then I guess not off the grid, but like not having any internet seems like uh, seems rough. That's awesome though, man. Welcome back. Yeah, respect for sure. Seems like most of the time whenever someone in the in the chat says they're in the military, they're pretty much always Americans. Not very common that I hear someone from uh, from Germany saying they're in the military. I don't know why. I guess the US has a big military. <laughs> What's going on, Benis Butthead? Welcome. The U.S. military is our second largest employer, aside from Walmart? Wait, really? How many, how many freaking employees does Walmart have? Welcome. Walmart is just a supermarket, right? Or does it do a lot more? Is my European showing? <laughs> it does a lot more. Yo, what's going on, Mr. Potato Masher? The seat train, it's actually, or the seat truck rotter, it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, I'm quite liking it. Walmart has 2.3 million employees? Damn, that's a lot. Pretty sick. Okay. Um, I will plant down maybe a couple more things. I'm not sure. Yeah, I really should expand my base. The thing is, do I really want to build a base over here? Maybe I want to build a new place where I can make a base. I could just make it over here, to be honest. It's fine. What about... Yeah, why not? Exactly. What about we just make like a tube on the outside of... Um, of this thing. And I will try and make one of those really big rooms. And then we move everything over and then we destroy this one. Seems like a good idea. I want to make one of one of these. Enameled glass and two lithium? I don't know if I have enough to make uh, that much enameled glass. That is quite a lot. 
What do you even need for a Nemo glass? Quartz for sure. I don't actually have that much quartz, do I? Uh, enameled glass. Oh, glass, lead, and diamonds. Okay. So wait, how many did we need? Four. I think I don't really need a ton of rooms, though. I think, like, one or two of those really big rooms will probably do. And obviously, like, then, obviously, also the other rooms, right, that are important. Like, the moon, whatever it's called, and a bunch of those other things, but... We don't need a million of these. Uh... Okay. Right. Be able to sense the location of an important artifact. I will share its coordinates so you can look into it. This is kind of cool, man. I feel like the game is trying to test if you're being if you're stuck. And if it thinks you might very well be stuck, I'm going to disable this one. But if it thinks you might very well be stuck, it's like, okay, here's here's a couple different places you can go. Yeah, the game is telling me you slow, man. Start moving. <laughs> Oh yeah, I need some more quartz. They should call me Sloco. They really should. I'm doing this crazy thing where I'm having a good time. It's pretty crazy. Can I um Can I just put down one more of these terrible looking interior? Units. Where can I stick it? I want to just... Over here. Sure. Okay. So... We need to go and pick up some quartz. Maybe I can finally use my mineral... Thing. Of course, it's the very last thing that shows up. Classic. What's the deepest point I can reach? Uh, like five, six hundred meters right now? Huh? Okay. Oh, I go up or I don't know Uh... Ik wil zo ook eens even kijken. Op staat. Ik heb hem wel hier. Ja, ik heb hem wel. Hier. Nee, ik wil zo kijken eerst. Ik weet niet wat er allemaal op staat. Nee. <laughs> oh shit, I'm always running out of O2. Nah, that's fine. It's all good. Literally dying for her. Yeah, that's very romantic. Thank you, guys. That was inappropriate, Loco. Wait, what did I do? Quartz. I take out my wire cutter. Oh, it's this one. Quartz. 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 Alright, we already have enough. I don't mind having a little bit more, though. Gotta love the difficulty curve in this game. Yesterday, you could not stay underwater for 10 seconds, and today, just AFK. Yeah, it's true. It's just because you get upgrades, right? Like things like the rebreather and better oxygen tanks and stuff just make it way easier to stay underwater for longer. No, I don't really want to go in here. 
But I've also made it easier with plants like this, though. There you go. These oxygen plants are pretty cool. Yeah, ultimately, when you get all of the different upgrades, you can stay on the water for a long time. But yeah, the game feels really satisfying as far as its progression goes. Okay, so we're gonna try and expand the base and make it hopefully a little bit better. Um, wanna make some more glass? Need a couple more diamonds, but I've got a few of those. If I can find where the damn things are, found them. Enameled glass. Look, did you hear that a Dutch company is building Jeff Bezos' super yacht? Oh, not yachts again. Why do people buy fucking yachts, dude? <laughs> yeah, I know there's a Dutch company or a bunch of them that do that, yeah. Alright. This one. A large room glass dome. That sounds nice. Loco, what's your favorite yacht? Dude, I think like yachts are probably the most pointless thing anyone can ever buy. You ought to be kidding me. Alright. We make a tube arena. Right over... What? Oh, come on, video game. Why can I not? No, I can't. Man, all my chests are full. Ah. Alright. I don't know if this thing is even blocking it. Can you make a tube from the inside? No, I don't think so. You gotta be outside. Okay. There we go. And then, connected to this, we want to make the big boy room. Wait, what? Large room glass dome? Oh, it's just the glass dome! Oh, I still need to make the large room. Okay, okay, I thought it was a specific type of Okay. That's just the roof. Okay, I still need two plus two ingots. Lithium. I hope I have enough lithium. Oh. Okay, now I do. Got on cow man. There it is. The large room. Very nice. I wonder if I should build it somewhere else, on like a better, a better location. I have no idea. Does it really matter? Hmm. I, gu I guess it's fine, right? This is gonna be terrible for my base structure. 
Just a little overhang, it'll be fine. I feel like I feel like my 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 base is gonna flood right away. Base hull strength now at three point. Oh god. Um. I've I got a glass roof. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? We're not gonna build the base over here. Because I can't even enjoy the glass roof over here, Chad. We can't even enjoy the glass roof. It's not worth it, man. I got my own aquarium now. True. Well, I knew that that was gonna happen. Yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. Yeah, we want to build a little bit deeper. Wait, don't you... It's fine. Don't you repair it like that? I think you do. Oh, that's not the repair tool. That's why it's not working. <laughs> da, da, da. Yeah, that explains it. There you go. I magically closed the hole. Integrity restored. Draining systems initiated. Easy, boys. Even my plant still lives. I feel like a laser cutter would do the exact opposite of what we wanted it to do. <laughs> I don't want it to be close by though because I'm gonna have to ferry over a bunch of shit. Maybe over here. What about over here? Ah, there's a fucking rock. What's a good location for a base? Yo, Potato, you, uh, you've you already finished the game, right? Where do you think I should make my first proper base? Is there a good location you'd recommend? Or does it really matter? I've never heard Loco swear. I never swear. Lily pads? The lily pad area is really pretty. You built yours under a glacier to see the glowing jellyfish through your roof? Hmm. The lily pad area? Where's the lily pad area? What were the lily pads again? All systems online. You picked an area that looked nice through a glass roof? Yeah, yeah, that's basically my goal. It feels like such a big commitment, man, to like just go out and build a base somewhere. Because uh, it's going to be hard to move once I've settled. It's like just like moving in real life, you know? You don't want to just make a terrible decision and like... Yeah, I can play some beautiful music now. <clears throat> what do you think, Hartnepper? I could build some speakers. I could. Um. 
I don't know. What is the prettiest area we have gone or we have gone to so far? The lily pad area was quite nice. Yeah, I remember the big things. Yeah, so what you do, Potato Masher, you just get an MP3 file. You go to your computer, then you go music, unknown worlds, which is by default a folder there, and then they're in Subnautica, and then you just throw the files in there. It's pretty straightforward. The area where I got the diamonds was quite pretty, but it's it's like too deep. I don't think we... Like, it's also not really leading anywhere, you know? We'd have to climb up every single time from there, which seems kind of annoying. Yeah, it's very cramped there. Yeah, yeah, you can listen to uh, Rick Ashley. Never gonna give, never gonna give. We've known each other. Fuzzle. My mind's been aching, but you just should have said. I just want to tell you how I'm feeling. You can hear the music outside when it's playing loudly. It's kind of like a car in real life then, huh? Every once in a while, you can hear someone having a full phone conversation. While they're driving. Because they don't realize that uh, it's on very loud. <laughs> New subscriber detected. Never gonna give you up, never gonna say goodbye, love. Thank you very much, dude. Wait, no. What was the hotkey again for, uh... Nope. Oh, F1? The thermal spires. No, I'm looking for lily pads. Is this the lily pads down below? But I don't really want to go too far down either, because I'd, I'd have to go... Mm. Thank you very much, Thinkman Hammer. 25 months! Hell yeah, dude. Thank you, sir. It's in the area where the pilot's last known location was. I should have just taken my freaking home truck, hey? Or, or my, what was it called? Sea truck. Yeah, it's right there. I, I thought it was for some reason close by, but... Dude, where's my truck? I need better flippers. I have 670 lennies. What are they for? If you click on the little icon, you can see what you can spend them on. It's mostly just to compare PP sizes. The more lennies, the bigger the PP. And that's important, apparently. It shrinks when you spend it? Yes. That's just basic math. Come on, Thinkman Emmer. Look at Blitzu. 69,420 Lenny's wasted. So we know you're dealing with a true badass. 69,420 Linners. Yes. Lenny, Lenny is just his pet name, okay? His actual name is Leonard. Or Leonard. It's, uh... It's truly something. But Bean as well, man. I don't want to live too close to these guys.
Is this the lily pad area? No. Oh yeah, these guys, these things are the lily pads. They're upstairs, aren't they? Do we want to live with the wheels? Yeah, yeah, those are the lily pads right over there. We can hang out with the wheels. These things are friendly. I have nothing against wheels. No, man. Is this such a pretty place, though? Whoa. What the hell is that? Oh, it's a lily paddler. Whoa. Assessment, dangerous and unfamiliar environments. Approach with caution. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa! Well, we definitely want to have him as a neighbor. He seems great. We get free weed every morning. Can you build on the lily pads? Can you build a base on the lily pads? I don't think that's a particularly good idea because the, the world outside is a little hostile and stuff, but... Hypothetically speaking... Nah. It doesn't want you to build on the lily pads. Okay, this one, this one seems quite suitable for living. We can look around. Oh no, stop it, mate. Yeah, maybe if you make a foundation, but I don't really care. I don't really need to build up there. Is this really the best we can do? I think this one is fine because we do see a lot of we do see a lot of wheels and stuff right over here from this rock. I think this is probably a good space. <laughs> 